You can see that the super shine on acrylic nails is intact even after three weeks. This is if you make the acrylic nails in a way we showed in one of our previous videos. Now it is time to fill Dory's nails. First, Alexa is preparing the nails. With a drilling machine, we remove the color. We use a rough file bit to thin down the material and make the nails shorter. Then with the profile 150, we file the free edge into shape. Then we file the whole surface with a profile of 80 grid size. For the parts close to the nail fold, we should use a 150 file again. Then with a finer bit, we drill the skin from the nail. After removing the dust, we apply nail prep and acidic primer to sanitize and dehydrate the nail. Then we brush some liquid on the nail to help the material level better. Nails with color transition are very popular these days. This is why we are making our fill in ombre style. We put a bead of Womp Musk 2 acrylic powder and start working on the color transition. After the color transitions, we make the surface of the nail more even with tapping moves and create the shape of the free edge. It is important to thin the material gradually. Meanwhile, we should pay attention to the C-curves and try to build the nail to the right shape so a lot of filing would not be necessary later. Then we place a smaller bead of Womp French Pink acrylic powder to the back of the nail. This is a half covering powder which is easy to blend to the other material. It sometimes happens that we accidentally pick up a lint and place on the nail. Do not worry, if it happens, just remove it with a brush. Once the material dried, we file the surface with our drilling machine. We can also file the back side of the nail. Then we file the free edge into shape with a 150 profile. Then with an 80 file we file the nail surface, then change to 150 file as we get close to the nail fold. It's time to check the C-curve and to correct it if necessary. Then with a fine bit, we file the surface around the skin. We do the same in the corners. Most of the people do not like if the natural nail goes all away, so we suggest to file it out from the backside and smooth it really well. Then we remove the dust, file the surface and the edges smoothly, and then buff the surface. At this point we are done with the filling, so we can start decorating the nail. 
we previously cleaned Moira plate number 6. We apply some white stamping polish on the chosen design, scrape it and stamp the design on the middle and ring fingers with stamper number 3. Then we apply one layer of Moira brush on top gel onto each of the nails. As this is a thicker top gel, we do not have to worry about flowing off or smudging the decoration. We cure it for 15 seconds in UV lamp. Into the half cured top gel, we brush some Womp Diamond Shine Powder. We do not want powder on the edges of the nail, this is why we didn't apply top gel there. Then we brush off the excess powder and cure the nails for a couple of seconds. Then apply again a layer of top gel and cure it too hard in 2 minutes. After that we clean the skin with acetone free nail polish remover. We are going to apply some transfer foil decoration so we remove the shine from the nails. With foil gel and one striper brush, we paint 10 drills on the ring finger. After that, we cured the foil gel for about one and a half minutes and then press magic foil on it. We repeat this decoration on the index finger too. Finally, we close the design with brush and top gel, cure it for 2 minutes and apply some cuticle oil on the skin. And we are done with our filled and decorated acrylic nails.